AI has become a cornerstone of modern society, infusing a multitude of sectors with enhanced efficiency, personalization, customization. is a catalyst for a cognitive revolution. AI's impact spans a wider spectrum, affecting nearly all aspects of modern society and the economy. Geotech was founded in 2018 to tackle the main challenges facing the geospatial industry in the country. Therefore, we have been investing aggressively to develop a rigorous understanding of the industry and also its historical complexities. It enables us to empower uh, our understanding of the world around us, which leads to empowerment of our decision-making capabilities and evidence-based predictions. So since then, what we've been doing, we've been doing two things. We've been building benchmark leading AI models. What we've also been doing is building spatial uh, models and algorithms that interact well with these AI models in order to address these challenges. At Geotech, we developed smart places and smart streets. These are containers that are within them, deep learning models and spatial algorithms. What these models do really well is they're really able to identify detect, track, and localize a variety of moving and stationary objects. We're also really good at stepping back, um, coming up with state-of-the-art solutions, building um, high-tech solutions that are both innovative, but also very much in line with what we're hearing from our clients. And so this journey that we take with our clients is really how Geotech is a very unique company, uh, working in geospatial and AI solutions with clients end to end. When we work with a client that's facing a data problem, for example, we try to understand the problem. We do hypothesis testings with them. We frame the problem eventually into something that can be um, acted upon. We work with them in gathering and generating data, building data sets and databases. And here we educate them a lot about data security and data management. Our technologies also uh, contribute to the regional connectivity by facilitating uh, better location-based services where we contribute to the region's uh, digital connectivity essentially for the growth uh, of the digital economy. For instance, um, in smart city initiatives, we support the development of smart cities by providing data analytics for urban planning, traffic management, and infrastructure development, aligning with the programs of the Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030. So smart places and smart trees, they're very essential to today's world, especially in an urban environment. Decision makers are always faced with many questions about what is happening in their cities. So what smart places and smart streets now do really well is they provide active monitoring for these decision makers. So SmartSat is a tool uh, that we've built uh, in the past few years that does something really well. It's able to uh, slide through a very large region of satellite images and generate data. We consider it a data generator um, that generates data from satellite images. Uh, in a sense, what Smart does, does really well is it looks at the environment that it's observing from satellite images and telling us stories about what is happening uh, within cities, within rural environments, and within national reserves and parks. From satellite images, what SmartSat does, it's able to detect buildings. It's able to see the changes in buildings, and it's able to see how people are building, where they are building, and how they are treating their building cycle, how they are disposing things. Smart Trees is also really able to detect trees and vegetation within both urban and non-urban environments. We ask ourselves in Smart Street all the time, which streets are vegetated, which districts are highly vegetated, and here you see something that's really in line with a lot of the quality of life. SmartSat does um, climate detection and climate forecast really well and gets a sense of what's going to happen in this particular agricultural area. As cities try to be more active in their monitoring, having dashboards and platforms that are reading these outputs are very much in line with what a lot of uh, city officials and governments are trying to do. Our collaborations with the government partners and public sector projects reflect Geotech's commitment to societal and infrastructural development in several ways. For example, aligning with the national priorities uh, by working closely with uh, government initiatives, 
uh, GTEC demonstrates its commitment to national development goals such as economic diversification, smart city infrastructure, and improved public services. GeoTech's AI solutions can optimize public service delivery in areas like uh, education, uh, transportation, which directly impacting citizens' quality of life. We also contribute to uh, addressing social challenges uh, where GeoTech's involvement in public projects often includes uh, finding solutions uh, to social challenges such as using AI to improve traffic flow, reduce environmental impact, and enhance public safety. GTEC's commitment to these principles ensures that it not only creates AI solutions that are relevant and effective, but also brings them to market swiftly to meet the dynamic needs of the industry. In GeoTech, we'd like to build on top of three things, people, infrastructure, and technology. We put a lot of effort into getting the right people, mentoring them, getting them to believe into our cause, and having them work hand in hand with us in order to develop the necessary solutions to the problems that we are working with. We give them the infrastructure that they need in order to solve these problems. Building an infrastructure for talented people is of utmost importance in order to give them that sense of responsibility and to provide them with both a secure environment that they can work with in order to build technology. We give people ownership over the technology that they build and so that gives them always a sense of how this technology is going to be used, how it can be improved, and how they can constantly iterate over them. One major advancement that is going to be um, playing a big role in advancements in the next uh, decades, it's going to be foundation models. Foundation models have truly revolutionized uh, the way AI is done. People have probably heard about uh, ChatGBT. Um, but there are other foundation models and generative models. In the next iteration of uh, AI models, we will going to be seeing a lot of large models and then deploying these models into production and being able to maintain them is going to be a challenge. So all these challenges that are related to these large models are really going to be what people are going to have to be focusing on in the next decade. So AI is revolutionizing the way businesses are being run by including AI into their products and services, they're really building robust and scalable systems that are gonna be the way that they um, have their competitive advantage moving forward.